Well, you know, the other day I was thinking about how everything is related to everything. Uh, you think about baseball, you think about the piano, you think about managing artists, you think about just about anything you do, and it's all related. Um, one of my family friends uh, early in my life, uh, in the third grade I met him, was Dizzy Dean. Dizzy and Paul Dean, who many of you know, uh, were uh, two pitching aces for the St. Louis Cardinals. My father uh, played minor league ball for the Cardinals. He was in the Cardinal organization. And of course, he met Dizzy then, uh, way back probably when he won his two MVP back-to-back -back MVPs um, for pitching, which is, you know, I believe a record that might even still stand. Uh, they also had a record, Paul and Dizzy, for about 60 wins in one season for the Cardinals, which is for a brother team, you know, two brothers on the same team is quite uh, unique. Anyway, they moved to Phoenix. Uh, Paul Dean rented an apartment from my father, and uh, we became very fast friends, and he coached and sponsored my third grade Little League team at Madison Meadows in Phoenix. And uh, we called the team the Cards, you know, which is a, a, a short name for Cardinals that's still used today for the Cardinals, I believe. Anyway, he taught me so much about pitching and hitting and fielding. Uh, I played second base and pitched, and I hit. Uh, of course, everybody has to hit in baseball, but I was a good hitter because of Dizzy. He taught me how to follow through. He taught me how to meet the ball. Uh, an interesting story that's carried with me into piano playing is why do people uh, try to swing for the fence and miss the ball and strike out so much, even in the big leagues? It's because they're over swinging, of course. And what technically what that means is if you're a right-hand hitter, your line of uh, where you pick the, the ball up comes in through right field. In other words, as your eye picks the ball up as a right-hand hitter, the ball is coming in your line of vision in right field. I never thought about that. I kind of discovered it on my own because he taught me some uh, techniques that led me to this discovery. So when you're a right-hand hitter, you need to swing not so violently that it swings your head around to look into left field. Because if your head is looking into left field, you're going to miss the ball. You will take your eye off the ball, which should, your eye should be on it in right field. But instead, by overswinging, your, your head will shift and look into left field, therefore missing the ball. So this idea of overswinging or shooting for the fence, trying to hit a home run all the time, stuck with me throughout my life. And uh, of course, I quit playing baseball in my junior year in uh, high school, and the piano kind of took over uh, because I was concertizing even as a youngster. Uh, that's another story for another day, how I got to do that. But uh, getting back to the baseball thing, overswinging, isn't that sort of like overplaying? And I discovered that if I being a volatile nature, uh, my nature is rather excitable and volatile. Uh, I'm easily excited, so easily excited, so I would tend to overplay as a pianist. And so I discovered that if I applied Dizzy Dean's axiom of baseball to the piano, it worked, it served me very well. And this is long before I came up with these other approaches to the piano, like uh, pressure in, in, on equal pressure on, on each key from each finger. This is much, much later in my career. This idea of not overplaying and just playing aggressively enough to project stuck with me. So the idea of meeting the ball, not throwing my head into left field and over swinging when trying to hit a, a, a ball, just get a single, just get on base. So I used that in my piano playing, and I found that it really worked. I didn't have to play so big. I could sound as big as a mountain without really playing big. Uh, a lot of it had to do with
how far into the key I was playing. But it's technical stuff, but I want to keep it basic. So the idea of not overplaying was really related to my years as a hitter, uh, as a, a person in elementary school and then into high school, because I played Babe Ruth ball, Pony League, a lot of different leagues, and it required me to improve. Otherwise, the players that I was playing with would outplay me. 